From TIA's Connectivity Jam here in Dallas, Texas, we are joined with Don Shapaniak. He's Executive Vice President of Sensor Sensory Solutions Group at Panasonic Enterprise Solutions. And Don, welcome to the program. Thanks. Hope I got Good. your last name correct. Perfectly. <laughs> okay. Uh, you just came off uh, a keynote address here at TIA's Connectivity Jam talking about IoT and that relationship back to the fan experience. You mm -hmm. walked us through sort of a case study of, um, I think it was called, it was called Mike. Yeah, Mike, Mike your, the your Fan. Your character, Mike the Fan, yeah. and what his experience would be all the way from, you know, uh, leaving his home uh, and all the way to the stadium and the stadium experience and then even after afterwards. I thought that was pretty interesting. Can you give us, uh, again, a bit of a microcosm of that case study? Yeah, so when you, when you think about, when you think about what, is, what teams are trying to do is that they're trying, they're trying to really engage the fan to keep them loyal fans of the team regardless of the outcome of the game. And so they're, they're looking at all the aspects of, of what that fan goes through and they're trying, to, they're trying to eliminate the barriers to make it effortless. And so it's not just Mike the fan as an example. There are, there are, there are real teams in the NBA, NFL, and, and Major League Baseball that are, that are doing things today to, to alleviate the alleviate, eliminate the barriers to for fans for fans to get up, and and that includes things like you know giving them uh, better um, uh, choices when it comes to parking, uh, giving them better choices when it comes to how to use how they use their tickets, giving them giving them better information so that they can design a fan experience, design a game experience that fits their needs. Can you can you walk us through so for the for the stadium owner or right. the team owner, what's valuable data to, to them? Can you walk us right. through that? Yeah. So so when you think about the, uh, the, the stadium owner, they have they've got a couple of they got a couple of really important really important metrics. Number one, the overall metric is fan loyalty, and fan loyalty is almost always measured in ticket sales, and in particular season ticket sales. And so so fan owners. And, uh, and venue owners track that and try to preserve that because your season ticket holders are your most, most, most uh, precious commodity. But more than that, um, in particular with IoT, they also know that those season ticket holders don't come to every game. Mm. And instead, they give those tickets to their brother-in-law, their sister, their friend, their uncle. And up until recently, those people were completely invisible. Mm -hmm. to teams, and so that source of potential fans, potential season ticket holders was completely blocked. One of the most you know, uh, invaluable pieces of information they're getting today is with IoT and with fan engagement, they're getting access to who those people are and how they behave and, how they, and what they want in a stadium, and now they're able to market to them and reach out to them and, and encourage them to become fans. Don, I want to ask you this. So you are focused on the Internet of Things at the edge, applications of IoT at the edge right. for uh, fan or, or customer engagement, right? Yeah. But you're here at a communications infrastructure event. What's your perception of the knowledge of you to them and these infrastructure guys to what you guys do? That's a great question. So um, I mentioned it at the keynote. You know, I, I, I sat fascinated over the last two days listening to the, the depth and the breadth of, of what the, the industry is doing to in the current state of IoT in the future. And, and, and it was fascinating to me about that, but it also, it was also a very inside out look. And in, in some cases, that inside out look really over, overlooks you know, what is important to the people who are eventually consuming, using, and paying for that technology. And so, from a perspective outs outside in, you know, I think the biggest the difference and the biggest thing that I tried to bring to them was this, ex this expectation of outcomes. Mm -hmm. You know, what are, what are the expected outcomes from somebody who utilizes it? And, and, and universally, not just in sports, um, the, you know, two things come true. The end users want effortless, seamless, invisible technology outcomes. They, they, they want to be able to not make effort to, to, to have that experience. So technology is a barrier if it's visible, it's a barrier if it requires effort. And on the venue side, on the owner side, what they want is actionable analytics. Things that they can take action on. Um, data's great, but it doesn't allow them to make decisions that, that, to lead their business. 
So with the explosion of IoT applications, you're saying that uh, your vendors, mm -hmm. your IoT vendors, will get will get their ROI. They'll get their money back. Yeah, I, th I think so because because but the, what they have to understand though is they get they'll get their ROI is if they if they if they can provide um, the service in a way in a similar way that utility companies provide electricity and water companies provide water. Those are both incredibly important, critical, life-giving um, resources. Mm -hmm. But nobody who uses them thinks much about how they got there, mm -hmm. the quality of service, the quality of it. They have an expectation that when it shows up, it'll always show up, it'll be safe, it'll, it'll be constant, and, it, and it'll, it, will be, it will provide exactly what they expect. And I think from a standpoint of the industry, um, I think their path to profitability is finding a way to deliver that and deliver that outcome in a way that 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 allows them allows them to provide it at a level that people can accept. Well, I think we all hope that uh, communications, technology, infrastructure providers will be mm -hmm. able to meet your needs, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, everything will be uh, uh, successful at the end of the day. So, uh, good to have you here. Uh, get your insights. Um, it's and great I'm sure to be here. People in the room earlier were really interested in what you had to say. It was great, man. Thank all you. All right, Don. Thank you very very yep. much. Appreciate it. Yep.